I'm James. This is Johnny. Johnny's gonna be our model for today. Yeah. While we do some palpation. So, uh, some of these are gonna be really easy to find. Some of them you might not have done yet. Um, a lot of these we did in kinesiology. Um, but we're gonna start out with the tibial shaft and the medial malleolus. So this one's really easy to find. I mean, you can find it all the way up at the, from the tibial tuberosity all the way down. And you can feel that puppy and you can follow it all the way down the medial malleolus, which is right there on the medial side, that big bad boy. So this one, you can kind of feel on the medial side of the leg all the way down. Easy to palpate, easy to find. Um, the lateral malleolus and the fibular head. So this one, a few of you have some trouble with, but right here on the medial side, you can find that head of the fibular, fibula, and it's right there. And then I can come down, and I'm going to feel it again. It's kind of deep to the muscle up here, but then right here, I can feel that bone again, and it comes right down into that lateral malleolus. Really easy to palpate, really easy to feel. Um, and we'll be talking about some more structures that you can palpate around both malleoli in a few minutes. The next one is the calcaneus. So the calcaneus is easy. Follow that uh, Achilles tendon right down, and there's your calcaneus. It is also with a weight-bearing surface that you step on is the calcaneus. And if I come just down to the bottom and go a little bit distal, and press in right there and he loves it love, love. this is the medial tubercle um, and it's attachment site for some muscles in the plantar fascia um, the next one is the talus this one's a little bit a little weird but if you can come down to the front of the leg and you've got tendons that cross the ankle on both sides and you're going to kind of be right over the extensor digitorum tendons. But if you put your thumb right down there into that gap and then move them back and forth, you can feel that talus kind of moving. And it moves forward as you go down. And you can feel it kind of pushing against you. Um, the next one, the metatarsals. Oh, yeah, metatarsals. And the base of the fifth, you can palpate each metatarsal, you can literally count them. So I can go all the way up number one, and then start at the second toe, and move all the way up through number two. And then third toe, I can move all the way up, fourth toe, and then the fifth metatarsal, right down here. And it ends right there at the base of the fifth metatarsal. Um, it's a big old lump there, and you we care because it's an attachment site for the fibularis brevis tendon. And if you get a really severe inversion sprain, you can pop a little piece of bone off with the tendon. That's an avulsion fracture. Um, and so it's, if it's exquisitely tender, um, that would be a sign that they may have a, a, mi a little minor fracture. Although it still hurts after ankle sprains in a lot of people anyway, but it's usually not super painful. Um, all right, and then the navicular tuberosity. So if you come down to the below the medial malleolus and just come a little bit distal of that, there's a big old bone sticking out. That's the tuberosity of the navicular. Um, the posterior tib tendon runs right up in the groove underneath there but it's quite easy to palpate. It's big and pokes out quite a bit. Um, the anterior talofibular ligament. So these ligaments, again, they tend to fail in order with an inversion sprain, which you know is like 95% of sprains. So the ATFL is right up front here. Um, if they've sprained their ankle, if there's no swelling, um, you can usually get a lot of point tenderness right over it um, with an inversion sprain. So here, and then I'll just show you while we're here, the calcaneofibular ligament, it's not on your list, 
and the posterior, the PTFL, is right back here. Um, just a reminder to review your notes on how we grade ankle sprains because it's a little bit different, if you remember, than how we grade other types of sprains in the body. Um, in the case of the ankle, lateral ankle sprain, we look at the failure of the ATFL, CFL, or PTFL, and we grade that way. So the next one is the deltoid ligament. So it's shaped like a deltoid. Uh, they do have individual names, but they just come right down here and they kind of flare out off of the medial malleolus. And so you can just palpate those right under the medial malleolus. Now they're gonna be deep to tendons and stuff like that. Um, but again, if someone has an eversion sprain, you will get tenderness over the um, over the deltoid right there. Um, the next one, let's flip it. So gastrocnemius soleus. So Achilles tendon, fill that on up, musculotendinous junction, and then I'm gonna come up on both sides. And he contracts a little bit, and it's really easy to feel two heads. And you can follow the gastroc heads all the way up above the knee because they are two joint muscles and you'll find them, they, they dive deep just as you get just proximal to the knee, and they sit behind the hamstring tendons on both sides. So if you are inside the hamstring tendons just above the knee, that's where you'll feel that. Um, the soleus complex obviously is underneath and deep to this, so it takes a little more pressure to get down to the soleus. Um, tibialis anterior, this is another really easy one to find. So I can go all the way from the tibial tuberosity. I can make my way down. Um, and I'm just gonna go a little bit lateral to that. And the muscle is right here. And when he contracts, it pops right out. It's really easy to feel. And then as I come down, I can follow the tendon starts here and it comes all the way down. And remember, it comes on the medial side where it attaches. So it's a dorsiflexor, but it's also an inverter because it is on the medial side. Um, fibularis longus and brevis. So this one, again, an easier way to kind of find it is have him do a little bit of eversion. So those muscles come down here. The tendons, you can see, pass right behind the medial malleolus. And you can kind of follow those back behind the medial, I mean the lateral malleolus. So you can kind of follow those right down behind the lateral malleolus. And you can follow that one all the way down to the base of the fifth metatarsal um, where the brevis attaches. And then longus goes down and goes under. So remember, because they are posterior to the lateral malleolus, they will be plantar flexors. And because they come in on the lateral side, um, they're going to be strong everters, resisting inversion. Um, the, there is a pronius tertius, which isn't on your list, that comes down and attaches here. But the tertius, it will still do eversion, but because its line of pole is in front of the malleolus, it's going to do dorsiflexion as well. Um, the next one, these are kind of tough to tease out. Um, You've got your Tom, Dick, and Harry, if you remember. Tom is the tibialis posterior, Dick is the flexor digitorum longus, and Harry is the flexor hallucis longus. They come down right down here. You're not going to be able to tease out the individual tendons, but you can feel them if you go posterior to the medial malleolus and wrap up and around like that. You can feel those puppies right there. And one thing I can do is have him go a little bit of um, inversion and I can feel those tendons and you can kind of tease them out just a little bit as you go back behind. Um, the last two are arteries. So you're feeling for a pulse. So the first one, I'm going to come right up on top of the foot. This is the dorsalis pedis artery. Feel for a Heartbeat. Um, try this one on your own and see if you can find your own heartbeat. 
The last one is the posterior tibial artery, which comes right down behind the medial malleolus. So don't push too hard, but give a little bit of firm pressure and boom, boom, boom. Uh, you'll get a heartbeat right there. Um, the other things that I'll just mention for ankle evaluation that you should review, um, you've got girth measurements. You can go straight around the malleoli. Or if you're doing a, a figure eight, remember you start over here near the navicular and you go down and around and behind and back down to that medial side and get your figure of eight measurement. So I think that's it for now.